What's good? You all want to build a big deadlift, you're in the right spot at Silent Mike, and I'm going to tug harder than anyone's ever tugged on this app. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Tug. <laughs> the kids know it. They already know it. If you know it, we tug and show up. We tug yeah, and show yeah. up. They in the comments talking about we tug and show up. We, we tug and show hey, up. Okay. They call us, we show up. It's like a bat signal. They call us, we show up. Jokes aside, week one, deadlift jam. And I had my consultation last night with Coach Joe, Big J. He's gonna make me tug. He has. He seemed like I have a lot of confidence in me. I don't. I don't know what this body can handle, but he did. So programming comes in this week. So it's my last week to kind of free ball it. I'm just gonna get some work in. I don't wanna get too tired, although we already talked out the plan and we're gonna go over it more. We're actually gonna be with Coach Jay at game day in about three, four weeks. So we'll get his insight and we'll do some interviews and train with him and he'll be able to coach me in person. I told him I hadn't been coaching like six years. So it'll be really interesting to see kind of feedback on my form. And he knows me as a person, he knows me as a lifter pretty good, but he's gonna ramp me into things because our work capacity is kind of low right now, but our general strength's decent. So today I'm gonna keep up with that. I don't wanna kill myself because who knows what's gonna happen on Monday, Tuesday, whatever we gotta do. But uh, I'm gonna deadlift a little bit today, maybe squat, we'll see and then just upper body. So just so you know, Coach Joe, Game Day Barbell, he's gonna be coaching me for a deadlift program. We're gonna be pulling a lifetime conventional PR in December. Don't know what it's gonna be. We're gonna see where we're gonna end up. Um, and after talking to him, he's basically just gonna program all my lower body stuff. I'm gonna do everything upper body. So we're just gonna stay broed up from, <laughs> from the waist up. Real yeah, real so I'm gonna be doing you know some hammer strength and whatever on my chest, back, shoulder, tries, and then he's gonna do all my lower body. Um, and considering the dumpy that I have is astronomical, and I do no lower volume accessories and uh, or, or or volume, might I might not be able to like sit down. I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be like that. It's just gonna be like it's gonna be like an eight layered uh, fucking wedding cake. Y'all got some fucking crepes attached to your hips? I'm gonna have an eight layered red velvet wedding cake stacked on my hips. We're probably gonna get thick. I'm eating a little bit more. I don't know what I weigh. We're just gonna keep the abs there. Because uh, we've got a bunch of collabs coming up with jacked people, and I don't want to be Jabba the Hutt hanging out with them. So we're going to stay medium jacked, but I'm not as lean. I'm eating more, sleeping more. Uh, let's get after it. What are you thinking of pulling today? What did we do the other day? 545 for triple belted? So we'll probably just go belt this all week and pull four or five. You know, just kind of stay in that pocket. You know, even Joe said a lot of stuff's twos to sevens and, you know, an RP seven, eight as we start to ramp up. I don't, I don't know what it's going to look like. You know, I've, I've worked with a lot of different coaches, but. Again, I haven't been coached in a long time, five, five years probably. This last time like I competed, competed. So I'm excited, should be good. Yeah, I just wanna come in trained enough. It's kinda of like peaking for a meet in my head. But well, you wanna come in in shape enough, but you don't wanna to be too fatigued because I don't know what he's about to throw at me. So yeah, we're gonna do some triples maybe around 500. What do you think is gonna be the most difficult thing about this? Man, so yeah, I don't know. What's, I think it's probably all gonna be hard for me to be honest. Uh, I jokingly talked to like Kyle and Bart and some of the homies about like uh, not having like a competitive spark in me anymore. Um, and a lot of it is because my whole life I think revolved around competition. Uh, you know, I, I, I loved basketball more than anything. And so I went so fucking hard for so long. And now like my competitiveness kind of gets like spread, you know, like. I care about lifting, I want to get better, I want to look better, I want to be stronger, but also like really care about like making our designs and our clothing and our apparel game like the best it can in our space. Um, I also care about the gym and the community and I care about, you know, trying to help everyone. I, I, it's sort of like just elevating everything, it spreads that competitiveness and so it, it turns me from like a hot fire red and now I'm like a cool mellow yellow everywhere. Um, so like I get a lot done still, but it's just like that, that fucking wake up adrenaline throb that I used to have in my loins uh, is maybe a little bit colder. I don't know. You know, I think following a program is going to be hard. I think balancing how much I eat is something I'm, I'm thinking about a lot because I don't want to get chunky uh, for me, you know, no fat shame shit. I'm just, I like where I'm at. And so like, but I know I get stronger and feel really strong and good when I eat a lot. So I'm trying to balance that. Again, we talked about it in the last like kind of diet phase, like maintaining is the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to make a new goal in strength is so I can maintain my, my physique and my leanness for three months before we go into our next phase of, of getting diced up. So I think that'll be difficult kind of balancing that. And then we got an insane amount of travel. 
And, and like any other sport, you know, to be the best, to, to, to do these things, to sleep in new beds, to eat foreign foods, to eat out, to have a good time and be with the folks. We got a lot of collabs on the road. You know, next, literally the next month I'm on the road every single week, um, which isn't new to me. You know, this is what I did all through my 20s uh, when I was more of a competitive powerlifter, so it's doable. Um, but kind of finding that and then, uh, you know, honestly being coachable. I don't like to think, and maybe this is my ego, I don't like to think that I'm uncoachable, but I, I, I do think that I'm so self-critical in the areas that I get coached. So like basketball and powerlifting, for example, there are also areas that I'm an expert in. Am I the greatest coach of all time? No, am I the greatest basketball player? No, but I've spent years dedicated to the craft. So to be coached on things becomes more difficult because I've already thought of probably what he's gonna coach me on. And luckily for Joe, him and I get along really well. And even in the call, he's like, give me a loose philosophy on any coaches. He's like, yeah, man, I, I do waves of three to six. I'm doing this broadly, obviously, but we do waves of three to six weeks on a variation, depending on how long you can sputter out or how long you can make progress. He's like, you probably already know where you sit in that spectrum. I was like, yeah, I already know, right? Because he knows that I have the experience and I've done this, which is going to be able to a really good coach uh, uh, athlete relationship, I think. I don't want to speak for him, but I think Joe respects me as an athlete and a coach. So he knows that I got something going on here. So when I tell him stuff, he's gonna take it serious. Rather than if you take a newbie, not that you don't take their feedback serious, but if they're like, that was so hard, a newbie doesn't know what a hard deadlift is. You know what I mean? Like Joe knows that I know how to get after it and I know the general concepts. So I think that'll help, but it also for me, um, I gotta really try to sit back and put my, my athlete hat on, which I haven't done for a long time. Normally I'm the coach, normally I'm the boss, normally I'm the creator, normally I'm the director, I'm the presidente, and now I gotta do some other things. So. Um, I'm excited for that, but it is a little bit different. I haven't, I haven't had that mentality in a very, very long time. I'm always learning, I'm always growing. When it comes to clothes and business, trust me, I'm picking Barquan's brain, I'm picking all these people's brains to learn about business. Caffeine and Kilos, Dean, I'm absorbing because I'm, I've done business for, on my own for six years or so. I've been in the entrepreneur world for 10 years, but there's so much to learn. Powerlifting, basketball are two things I know really well. So even in my past basketball relationships with my coach, they always kind of knew, you know, I was, I was always like, a captain or something, I called a lot of the plays because they, they put the trust in me because I did the work to get there, to, 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 to earn that. So it'd be, it'd be cool, it'd be cool to get a new relationship but I, I don't know what it's gonna be like with Joe. Obviously we get along really well and I think our philosophies jam and we vibe personality wise so that'll be good but that'll probably be difficult. Travel, athletes mentality versus coaches mentality. And then if my body can keep up, man, I don't know. I haven't really like, I haven't hit the gas on, on, on training a, lo a long time. I told Joe that like, hey man, my work capacity is low. We'll see, we'll see what happens. What inspired you to do this series? I think because I, I'm like in a good groove with life in one sense where I'm, 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 I'm in routine, which is all I can ask for, right? Like we joke, but the truth is I'm showing up in, in every aspect of my life. And to me, that's 80% of the battle. Then from there, you got to optimize and execute. Um, and so like I'm showing up in the gym, 80%. I'm, I'm, I'm showing up to business and then, and then we're optimizing and executing best we can. I'm showing up in my, you know, my personal life with the homies and my mom, and I'm optimizing, I'm executing. And you guys are like, what does that mean? Why is he talking about business and like family same? But it's like, in business that means like, literally, literally show up, right? Like, that's step one, you, you gotta show up. That means like, open your email. That means show up to your meetings. That means show up to work every day. That means come in with a positive attitude, all these kind of untangibles. I literally believe that's 80% of success. And then from there, it's like self-analysis, business analysis, being self-aware, um, seeing, like critiquing your own work and things. So whether it's personal, um, business, content, lifting, whatever, right? Like if you're just doing sets of three all the time, you're not, right? You're not being self-aware that, oh, I need to get a program or whatever. And then, and then it, obviously that's optimizing. Then executing is following that plan. Um, and in the personal life, that's something like, hey, you could just show up to your friend's birthday, but like, are you present? Are you being, are you, are you connecting with them? Are you checking on them? Are you caring about them? Did you buy them a present? Did you buy them a card? Like, are, are you talking to them? Are you looking eye to eye? Or, or did you just show up to the birthday party, which is 80%, but then you're just sitting on TikTok the whole time, right? Showing up to the gym and just going through it. And so for me, showing up to the gym gym, uh, I, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, uh, executing. So I, I, I did good on my diet and that's why we got shredded, but I was just lifting, going through the motions. Um, again, business and stuff, am I perfect? No, but I'm showing up, I'm optimizing best I can, I'm executing best I can with me and my team. Um, personal saying, right? Uh, make time for my mom, I show up, I try to be present, I hang out with her, we go dinner, whatever, right? But the gym gym, I wasn't, I was just showing up, which is good, but it's not enough. And so I think to get a coach uh, to kind of lead me into that and bring you guys on along the journey just kind of made sense. 
I don't necessarily have a coach anywhere else, you know? You don't get a coach in your personal life. I mean, you can. I'm sure there's dating coaches and life coaches that you can learn a lot of cool things from therapy, which I have done. Um, there are business coaches and stuff, which I've never done, but maybe will do one day. So I don't really have that leadership elsewhere. Again, going back to it, I'm the coach, I'm the everything. So to be able to just kind of throw on that athlete hat and really try to execute better with my barbell movements and be more intentional with what we're doing. Um, I have pretty good intention and execution everywhere else. So might as well kind of get the trifecta. And that's kind of the trifecta in my mind, like physical and mental health which is the gym and diet and sleep and therapy and all that stuff. Business, what you do for a living, do you like it, do you love it, are you doing better, are you having side gigs, are you making money, are you growing, are you pursuing? Um, and then the personal, you know, friends, partners, family. Um, so those are like literally the three keys, third street, triangles, uh, that, that I really try to focus on. And um, it looked like I probably just had a stroke. I was trying to wink, but I don't wink that charismatic. So yeah, I, I don't disagree, we gotta show up. But then once we do show up, you can get a long ways, but I'm trying to go to the top, so I, I gotta optimize all of them. Uh, and if I had the cash and the time, we'll probably get a business coach. You know, probably head to therapy. I haven't been to therapy in a couple months, so, you know, chip by chip. But I think Joe's a good guy for that. Um, obviously, we're collaborating on our meet here, February 4th and 5th. If you wanna come hang out, it's gonna be a party. Uh, we get along well, we're gonna go visit them. So it just kinda all made sense. Since Joe's doing all your lower body, what do you have planned for your upper body? I'm gonna get absolutely fucking yacked we're going ifbb upper olympic yeah olympic track star lower that's kind of how i've been training anyways you know if you guys have been following along for a while um before the series i basically like, train my upper body for a lot of hypertrophy uh a little bit more volume a little bit more variation in exercises um working towards failure and then squats and squats and uh deads i don't do a lot of hypertrophy work after that and I just kind of handle singles, doubles, triples, a little bit more strength. Uh, my, my legs grow pretty easy. And so like, I just don't really want to do like hella lunges and shit. Plus I don't enjoy them that much. Even though Joe said a lot of shit's coming. I'm like, all right, bro, I, I don't want it, but I'll do whatever you say. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just, uh, I might bench still. I'll decide. Like right now, like I haven't benched this week. I've just been doing this instead. But I'll do some kind of horizontal press, some kind of vertical press. We'll see if he has lat work. If he doesn't have lat work, I'll ask him to make sure I'm allowed to do a bunch of lat work just because I still want to have my back going and then arms. Yeah, it's kind of the same split. We'll see, we'll see what his kind of a weekly split or volume looks like and then I'll sprinkle in my own shit. You know, like if he has me squat and deadlift on the same day, then I'll probably do a full upper body day push-pull together. But if he splits it, like one day squat, one day's dead, then I'll probably have a split up similar to what I have. Um, we'll see. And I'll probably actually probably have to pull back the intensity a little bit just to make sure, like obviously if you're a power lifter, you gotta push the intensity in all of them, right? You gotta get strong in all three. I got the luxury I don't. All I care about is the deadlift right now. So I'll keep the volume to keep my, you know, muscles kicking a little bit, but otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna try to have fun, probably walk a little bit more. I've been doing some uh, salt bike sprints and that's why I haven't gone on Instagram or TikTok live as much as I used to, because it's hard to <laughs> Q and A when you're sprinting. But now I'll probably just walk. So, cause weather's get, uh, still toasty out here, it's 80, but it's getting to fall. Um, and so I ride my bike less outside. I still just want to breathe, get my heart going, so I'll, I'll still probably walk for 20 minutes, half an hour, multiple times a week. Um, follow me on TikTok, so I'm like there, we'll do Q&As, but uh, yeah, otherwise we'll just play it by ear. Not too worried, just a banger. Programming starts next week. Stay tuned to the series. New videos every Monday, Thursday, so Monday's gonna be the deadlift, tug and show up theory uh, uh, series. So stay tuned for that, and every Thursday we're gonna do some uh, gym vlogs, some informational stuff, maybe some life vlogs. We got a full day of eating coming soon. Appreciate you guys so much, man. Silent Mike, we over me, be a part of something big in yourself. 3SB.co, catch you in the next one.